Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm delightful, thank you. Nice to meet you. What's your name, please? Josh Blue. Welcome, Josh Blue. What a cool name. Thank you. My parents gave me a stage name, so I had to go with it. <laughs> no, I did. Josh Blue. Uh, where are you from, Josh? I live in Denver, Colorado. OK. Tell us a bit about you, Josh. So, uh, I have cerebral palsy. I like to get that out of the way early. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> definitely want to let you off the hook, you know? Uh, you're like, this guy is drunk. You know? <laughs> I do stand-up comedy. I know I look like I'm about to fall over, but I'd, I'd get it done. Tell us why you decided to enter the show this year. After the year we've had, I think the world is just ready for some laughter. Yeah. Uh, hear, hear. Hear, hear. I, I just, I'm a laugh junkie, man. I like that, too. Okay, Josh, the stage is yours. All right, buckle up. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Sophia. Ready. <clears throat> well, it's uh, really good to be here. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though. You know, I don't want to get too better. <laughs> <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I was back in Denver last week, walking down the street, this lady come up to me, she said, I think it's so inspirational that you're out. <laughs> I was like, I'm on my way to the liquor store. <laughs> I, I got eight bucks burning a hole in my pocket. I was at a restaurant with a bunch of friends, and the server went around the table and took everybody's order. And then when they got to me, they're like, and what will he have? <laughs> My buddy was like, I'm guessing a talk with your manager. <laughs> Free dinner. <laughs> oh, he's genius. I love him. Thank you, this is the best Make-A-Wish ever. Thank you. <laughs> As a kid, you don't really know about the world around you except for the very narrow scope that you have. Growing up, I had a great childhood. My family didn't treat me any different because of my palsy. Honestly, only time I ever knew I had a disability was when other people told me I had it. Like high school, I loved soccer, but the coach cut me from the team. He said, oh, you can't do that because you're disabled. I'm like, well, watch me. And I became a member of the US Paralympic soccer team. I was in the 04 games in Athens, Greece. It's weird to say that I'm an Olympian. Did you guys win a medal? Oh, God, no. We got our asses kicked. <laughs> <laughs> I've just always had this lust for life. Like, I love just having fun and making people laugh. Thank you, this is the best Make-A-Wish ever. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Like, I love that feeling, I really do. I've been trying to do stand-up for a long time. I feel like there's a stigma that I'm just a novelty act, and I'm on this show to show the world. I'm a comedian that just happens to have cerebral palsy. And I couldn't be more excited. Like, I can't wait for you to stop asking me this question so I can go on and kill it. All right. 
Oh, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. So good to be back. I know that many of you know who I am. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm also well aware that maybe this is your first time seeing me. And if that's the case, then I'm pretty sure you're like, wow, AGT is really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I travel a lot doing comedy, and everywhere I go, I see more and more handicap accessible stuff going in everywhere, which I think is very important. Yeah. But I have to tell you, as a physically disabled person, I kind of feel obligated to use that stuff. <laughs> you know how awkward that is when I'm on a date and I got to use the ramp? Oh. I'll be there in a minute, babe. I'll be there. Oh, hold on, honey. Let me get the door for you. Okay. Who says chivalry is dead, huh? You know, over the years being disabled, I've experienced some cruelty. And uh, whenever somebody's mean, about disability, what I think they don't realize is that the disabled community is the largest minority group on the planet because they pile us all together. So if you're blind, get in the pile. <laughs> if, if you're deaf, help the blind guy find the pile. You got one leg? Hop on. All right. All right, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. That's too far. I, I understand. Too far. Uh, but whenever people are being mean about disability, what I think they don't realize is not only are we the largest minority group, but we're also the only minority group that you can join at any time. <laughs> that's right. You're just one bad bike ride away. <laughs> ain't, the, yeah. ain't, the, ain't that right, Simon? <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Josh Blue! <laughs> Howie! Yeah. Gosh, okay. you're amazing. You're, you're funny, you're uh, informative. I mean, it's, it's great to hear from you. You're topical, you use us. Everything, you, you check every box, you're a superstar. I don't think anybody alive is not disabled in some way. You teach us, we need you, and we need that laughter. You're the best medicine tonight. Thank you, sir. Sophia. I mean, you are funny, and you know it. I mean, no matter what you say, it's gonna be funny. Disabled or not disabled. <laughs> you are amazing, you're inspirational, and I think you're the best. Thank you so much. Simon, you're smiling. You're very naughty, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and you've got this great edge about you. You know, there's like, all I can describe it was, you know, and we need people like you in a live show. There's this sort of buzz before you come on. And always been thinking, what are you going to say? What are you going to do? And I love that about contestants. I adore you. I think you're going to sail through to the semis. I think you're going to make the finals. Good for you. Heidi, what do you think? I think that you truly are one of a kind, and you are very funny. I'm not putting you in no pile, and we're very lucky to have you here at AGT. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a dad. Palsy is not genetic, so I never worried about that. But I always was concerned about little tiny babies being so fragile. These are my feetsies. But I'm such a lucky guy. I came to find that because of the way I move, it was very soothing to my kids. <laughs> They're wiggly, and I'm wiggly, so it just cancel each other out. <laughs> I love my kids more than anything in the world. And they're both very funny, smart, beautiful little people. I have to deal with some lip, but you know, 
I gave him that lip, you know? Our dad's awesome, and we are very proud of him. But I may actually vote for someone else if his act isn't that good. Dude, I gave you life. <laughs> <laughs> He's shown us the sky's the limit. And live life to the fullest. I love the fact that my kids can see me succeed, and I want them to dream big despite the world telling you that you can't. I'm just very happy because my dad made it this far. <laughs> Holly keeps saying this is the year for comedy, and I want to prove him right. I'm here to win this thing, man. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. So, uh... The uh, Paralympics just finished up, and uh, I'm happy to say that I was a member of the U.S. Paralympic soccer team, and I was a... Oh, wow, oh, thank you. Wow. Huh. Where were you guys at the games? Could have used those 18 claps. All right. No, no, oh, no, no. Oh, a little late, guys, a little late. I know some of you maybe don't know what the Paralympics are. It's the Olympics for people with physical disabilities. It's the second largest sporting event on the planet. Second only... T oh, hey guys, I only got two minutes, so please shut up. <laughs> the second largest sporting event only uh, to the able-bodied Olympics. Yeah, it must be tough running with two legs, huh? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Again, I appreciate it, but please. <laughs> uh, uh, does anyone know how we did in the Paralympics? No. Again, thank you for your support. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, Let's just say me and my teammates didn't have to worry about getting tested for any performance-enhancing drugs. <laughs> I remember I played against the Russian team. I was but a spectator on the field. You know, just watch another player. Okay, well, there's nothing even wrong with that guy right there. <laughs> you better get a neurologist out here. I got injured in one of the games, and uh, my coach had the nerve to put me on the disabled list. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> one thing I miss about being on the team is traveling with everybody, because to me, there's nothing more entertaining than watching 12 dudes with cerebral palsy get off an airplane in a row. <laughs> Everybody in the terminal thinks there's some type of zombie invasion. Going on. <laughs> He's the goalie. Yeah. None of us really walk like that. We just like messing around. <laughs> One thing I don't miss about being on the team is uh, our coach used to make us dress alike, which is great, representing your great, beautiful country, but we're already a bunch of crippled dudes trying not to stick out as it is. <laughs> now you got us all wearing the same goofy-ass track suit. <laughs> all I'm saying, coach, is just give us a chance. <laughs> People walking by us like, oh, that's nice, they took them to the mall. Yeah. Some of them got stuff. So naughty, huh, Simon? Hey, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. The great Josh Blue! <laughs> Sophia! Josh, you're so funny. Thank Every you. time you come here, you look at each other and laugh. You're brilliant. Thank and you. you're so ins inspirational because, you know, 
whatever your condition had not stopped you from living your best life. You well, play soccer, you have kids, you have a career. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Simon. Well, you're just funny. Um, and that's what it's all about, right? Thank you. And like I said, very naughty. You don't care. That's what I love about you. And I think we're going to be seeing you next week. And you got a shot of winning this. Howie. You know, the, I don't only think this is the year of comedy. I think it's the year of Josh Blue. It really yeah. is. I'll tell you what I love most. Not only your act, but you were alive in the moment, commenting on the audience, yeah. talking to us. And that's, that's killer. That's diamond. That's gold. That's a winning move. I've been very fortunate in my life. I have a beautiful family. I've flown across this country thousands of times, making people laugh. They can't really see me doing anything else besides this. But because of the way my body moves, it's breaking down faster than a normal body would. And I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure once you reach your 40s, things don't get better right now. I am in the worst pain of my life. Like, it brings tears to my eyes. Backstage, my brain's going, warning, warning, you are hurting yourself. But I realized at a young age, you're not gonna get better by letting it beat you. When I'm on stage, it really does feel like this love is surrounding me and I feel like I can win over the physical pain. Since being on this show, the amount of love from everybody is amazing. It gives me goosebumps. Now, my kids actually like me. No, just kidding. Uh, they don't. <laughs> I really want them to go. My dad was able to accomplish these amazing things, and I can too. All those plane rides, all those shows, all this pain has led to this moment. Being in Vegas and like seeing my face on billboards would be amazing. It's time for a comic to win AGT. It really is. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Wow, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much. Wow. So uh, today I was outside, somebody stopped me on the street like, hey man, did I see you on TV? I'm like, well, how the hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> if you don't know. I'm, so I'm sure you've noticed the arm. I call it my nocturnal arm, because when the sun goes down, he got stuff to do. <laughs> I, I'm trying to sleep, it's up writing emails. I'm like, who could you possibly be writing to? Like, some club foot in Kansas. <laughs> also, uh, I can't sleep too close to the internet because gets online and orders stuff. <laughs> I come home, there's a box on the porch. He's all excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, what did you do? <laughs> Open it up, it's one bedazzled glove. <laughs> like, I'm not putting that on you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get your clubfoot buddy to help. <laughs> you, you guys remember from earlier? <laughs> Seemed like you didn't remember at all. That's, that's only so far I can dumb this down, guys. I still don't know where he got the watch. Been, been trying to get it off him for weeks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's getting like 78,000 steps a day. Yeah, well, oh no. Oh, all right. You know, I used to think I had a way with animals, and then I realized I just make a lot of crumbs. Yeah, just got a pack of random ass dogs following me around, you know. 
hoping I'll get into a muffin or something. I don't know how many times I've tried to go in a restaurant. They're like, you can't bring your dogs in here. I'm like, these ain't my dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Did you guys know that Botox was originally being invented to help people with cerebral palsy? Yeah, I just learned this. They were developing it trying to find a way to inject the muscles so that um, it wouldn't do that. <laughs> and then somewhere along the way, they discovered that Botox also makes wrinkles go away. And then they were like, well, forget cerebral palsy. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. We could really be helping people. Oh. God forbid you had a crow foot. The guy with the twisty arm can wait. I love that joke because I'm sure you can feel there's like a weird vibe that kind of moves through the room. What that is, is that's just all the people with Botox trying to frown. Yeah. Right, Simon? <laughs> Thank you, that's the end of my career. <laughs> Heidi, what'd you think? All I can say, I remember last time Simon asked for this. I remember Simon said, you should be naughty next time, and he you wasn't deliver. ready for it. 